Hi, Michael Gaffney at the San Francisco School of Flower Design today. Um, I have schools all over the country from New York, Miami, LA, San Francisco, San Diego, Minneapolis, Chicago, uh, Milwaukee, where it all started. So we teach students how to design flowers effortlessly and easily. Uh, flower designing, I call it Zen and the Art of Flower Design. It's very easy to do once you've been shown how. I used to work on Wall Street, New York. I stopped in a flower shop. Somebody showed me how. It took me six years plus another 10. I call it the Da Vinci Code of Flower Designing. I'm going to shave 15 years off of your career and teach you very quickly how to do things that took me a long time to figure out. Um, it's all in the book Design Star. I have a book here that's out. It's available for purchase on uh, Amazon. And uh, all the tips are in the book. There's a thousand tips in the book, I always say, and a million in the classroom. So welcome to my classroom. Today I'm in San Francisco. Yesterday I was in San Diego. And tomorrow, or two days from now, I'll be back in Chicago teaching. So uh, let's talk about flower designing. This is a, you bring flowers home, and you always say, oh, it always turns out ugly. Well, you need to know the technique. So I'm going to give you a really, really easy design. This is for uh, a, a beautiful vase arrangement. And we're going to use hydrangeas today again, because everybody likes hydrangeas. Uh, the last two or three videos I've done have hydrangeas in it. So let's get started. First, you're just going to form a, I call it a fistful of, uh, of hydrangeas. You're going to start with two or three in a nice little triangle. See that? And there's your triangle. Now we're going to simply collar around those. Again, laying them sideways through our design. You know, let's do all white. I'm in an all white mood. So we're going to take all white hydrangeas and we're going to collar them around the first ring, laying them through our design. Again, as I always talk about, not stacking them, laying them through. So this is an easy vase arrangement. One of the other videos we showed you how to do sort of a bridal look. This is a nice vase arrangement of hydrangeas. So there, there's a good start. We're going to add another ring around the bottom of these hydrangeas. Just working our way around, pushing them through, either on the left or on the right side of our flowers, right there and right there. Switching hands. This is not one of those bouquets you rotate. You just switch hands, and you enter them from side to side. See that? Nice. I call it an igloo. It's like an igloo. When I do these in foam, picture this in a silver cube. So beautiful for a wedding. It takes about 10 minutes to make one. Here's another white hydrangea on this side. So I'm filling in my hydrangeas all the way around. What else have I got left? Here's another one. Fill in that crack. I think I've got one. Nope, all done. Nope, one more. Right there. So we've got our nice big dome of hydrangeas. I'm going to take this dome. Here's my glass. You, this is a big glass. I could put probably twice as many hydrangeas. So uh, make sure you, you, you guess the right size of your container so you have enough to fill it. And I'm going to snip these. Again, the secret to hydrangeas is alum powder, A-L-U-M. And I know I'm talking fast, but in class I talk very fast. You get a lot of information in every class. Alum powder is the key. I'm going to drop these in and set them into my vase carefully and just sort of pat them lightly into a nice round igloo, a nice ball of hydrangeas. Pull some out, push them in. Whenever I design flowers, nothing touches the bottom of my vase. You can see that down here. That gives me the freedom to manipulate them up, down, and up. So I have that perfect, nice cylinder hydrangeas. Voila, like an El Decor, all the magazines. This is pretty alone. I wouldn't have to do anything. But today I'm going to take some uh, white Casablanca lilies, and uh, I'm just going to fill in between the cracks. Right there, let's do one up front so you can see. Right there, make this nice and clean, get rid of all the leaves, and just set some pretty lilies in there to add a second flower to our design. So again, flower designing is 90% technique, 10% creative juices. This is such easy work, this kind of work to do. Now put some lilies in there. Again, cleaning these off, stripping this off so they glide in there nice and easy without damaging your hydrangeas. Like that, it's getting, oop, I missed the vase. Make sure you hit the water. It's got to hit the water. Everything's in the water. Now I'm going to take a few white roses and do the same thing. Not too long a stem so you don't beat up your hydrangeas. Oop, there's some right there. I'm going to part the ways a little bit and just slide that rose right in through my hydrangeas. So this is very easy designing. And look how beautiful that looks. 
Looks like it'd be in the hotel, uh, hotel lobby or in a very uh, beautiful home in the entryway. So I'm just adding some roses into between my hydrangeas to add a little contrast. And the, the beauty of the hydrangeas is they hold your flowers in place. It's like having a big pin cushion, like that. So within two minutes, you're designing like a pro. That's what happens in my classroom. The first day, students come in. Here's my joke. I always say, here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is if you don't design gorgeous flowers today, I will pay for your entire education. The bad news, it's never happened in 12 years of doing schools because we teach really pretty techniques. I'm going to lift this out of the vase a little bit to make it very buoyant. When you're designing flowers and you don't touch the bottom of the vase, your flowers, I call it David Copperfield effect, have a very buoyant feeling. So I'm just going to add a few more roses. And look at this pretty show-stopping design we have. This is very nice. My kind of look. Beautiful all-white design. And if you really want to... Uh, design like a pro, your neighbors are going to come over and say, have you been hanging out with a designer? Have you? What's with all the beautiful flowers in your house? Take a little bit of Pittus Porum. A lot of you have this growing in your backyard. Take anything growing in your backyard and do a little bit of collaring around the edges. Just tuck this in like that. You know, that little bit of pretty, see that pretty greenery? You like that. Put a little bit of greenery around the edges and you have a nice, beautiful, simple hydrangea. I call it hydrangea based. Because it's a base of hydrangeas, and you build off of that base of hydrangeas. So I got my pit in there. I'm going to raise my center up just a little bit, see how I can adjust it, spin that around, tuck it in, pull. And there you have it, easy breezy designing from the San Francisco School of Flower Design. If you want more information on classes, call 877-322-5666. Um, but most importantly, Go to flowerschool101.com and watch the videos. You'll see me on the Today Show Hallmark Channel. You can learn a lot by watching videos. Thank you so much from San Francisco. It's gorgeous here today. I wish you were all here. See you in class.